This is a fake $320 Apple Vision Pro. That's only $180 less than the Meta Quest 3, but around $3,200 less than the real Apple Vision Pro. In this video, we're gonna compare the real Apple Vision Pro to the fake Apple Vision Pro, and at the end, we're gonna see if this scratches just as easily, and if the insides look anything like the original. Uh, right off the bat, the actual Apple Vision Pro, it looks a little bit different. I mean, you have a controller, and you also have some buttons on the side, and you have these two very obvious front cameras. The fan, though, looks pretty much the same. Let's get a look at this fake Apple Vision Pro. This is probably one of the most expensive fake products I've ever bought. This uh, is pretty heavy. It actually feels pretty good. Take it out. And okay, eh, that's not looking great now. So it actually does have a light seal, just like the real Apple Vision Pro. The actual displays don't look as good for sure. We'll remove the plastic. And take a look at those cameras. They look incredibly cheap. This thing, honestly, the best way to describe it is it feels like a MetaQuest 3 had babies with the Apple Vision Pro, and this is what came out. It feels like the MetaQuest 3, but with the fake brushed aluminum, it looks like the Apple Vision Pro. Let's see what else we have in the box. I'm so curious to see how good the pass-through is on this, and uh, if it's about the same as the MetaQuest 3, because it's almost the same price. So this is our weird looking controller. The battery is inside the actual device, but I mean, it looks like you still have to have a wire to plug this in to control the device, which seems counterintuitive, but I guess that's uh, AliExpress for you. We're gonna boot this thing on and see just how good it is, but so far, it's not looking that great, I'm not gonna lie. So this is obviously running Android as you guys can see. I'm surprised at how comfortable this is. And the Apple Vision, oh. <laughs> they added an Apple Vision Pro animation with the two weird cameras at the front of this thing. Shows they put a little bit of work into this. Okay, we have fan spin. Welcome to the world of spatial display. Nice. And we're in. This doesn't look half bad, but then I remember I spent over $300 on this thing. No, that's a lot of damage! So, looking around, the screen resolution seems okay. It actually doesn't seem bad at all. The app layout does look very similar to the Apple Vision Pro, but this thing doesn't start in pass-through because I presume that's probably terrible given the fact that there are only two cameras. You seem to navigate using this controller, so we just hit the bumper, and we have the control center. This looks fairly similar to the Apple Vision Pro, although the font is incredibly off. You navigate by literally moving your head, so there's a rectile in the middle of the screen. I think I'm saying a rectile. What the hell? You never heard of rectile? Erectile dysfunction? No. <laughs> There's a rectile Reticle. in the middle of the screen that you use to basically select what you're trying to click on, which is very strange. I think rectile is a real word. Correct! But if it's wrong, please forgive me. On the home screen, there is this cloud icon we can click on, and we have a bunch of different environments. Let's check out the kitchen. I love how they're just hiding the pass-through, like there's no active pass-through option that I can find here. Uh, I think it's because it's probably terrible. While we're in the kitchen, let's let Basius cook. This is the slimmest portable charger I've ever seen. It's only 7.3 millimeters wide, and if you're looking for a portable charger that keeps things thin, well, this is a perfect choice for you. It's by channel sponsor Basius, and I'm impressed. The whole unboxing experience feels really premium. Then you have this beautiful 65 watt power bank with 12,000 milliamp hours. This comes with its own display, so you always know exactly how much power is left. It's also completely custom. Customizable. There's an app and in this app you can actually change the display color You can time your charges so you don't overuse power or add your own little messages This has two USB-C PD fast charging ports and I'm absolutely going to bring this around with me while on the go I hate how bulky some portable chargers have gotten but this one is literally slimmer than an iPhone This seems like the perfect accessory for anyone who finds themselves working a lot on the go click the link in the description or or the link in the comments and grab one today. If we head to the photos app, they attempted spatial video and spatial photos, 
Let's go into this. Expand. Whoa. That is trippy. So this obviously looks nowhere near as good as the real Apple Vision Pro, but it is pretty cool. Again, we did pay over $300 for this. So this feels no better than one of those devices where you just slide your phone into the actual VR headset and use your phone as the VR headset. I need to find the pass-through option on this though. So this does actually have an app store. We'll select it. Looks like they actually put a decent amount of work into this thing. I mean, it's not amazing. I haven't seen the pass through yet, but so far it's not too bad. So the thing that concerns me though, is that you can download these apps without a Google account. So I don't know how trustworthy this thing actually is. Let's see if TikTok works properly. Open up TikTok. It's very strange pointing with your face. Whoa. So everything was good on this with TikTok until I learned how you have to swipe. This is the only way to get to the next video as far as I could see. Terrible. So I had a little bit of time to mess around with this and I found the pass through and it's uh, it's bad. Before I show you guys the pass through though, this is what the MetaQuest 3 looks like. It's not bad, right? And now here is the real Apple Vision Pro. Obviously it's the best of the best and this is the fake Apple Vision Pro. It's making me so dizzy, it's terrible. But to make matters worse, uh, this camera on the right side doesn't seem to be doing anything. So honestly, that might be a fake camera. We'll probably find that out later. But uh, yeah, I wanna see if I can operate with this thing. So I'm gonna do a little walk up the stairs and see if I don't trip and die. So during the teardown, we're gonna, we're gonna see if this camera over here is real or fake. It probably is fake because this is a fake device, but we'll have to find out. This is crazy. By now we all know that the Apple Vision Pro scratches pretty easily, like that leaves a mark. But does the fake Apple Vision Pro scratch just as easily? It, it, it does. I thought it would be more durable, but it's also probably plastic. Yeah, that, that's plastic. Quite a fun device to play around with. Very strange, not gonna lie, but what does it look like on the inside? We'll remove the head strap. It looks like there's a bunch of Phillips screws. We'll hit them all with an unscrew. Now, I think we should be able to pop open this plastic piece. Open it up. Looks like we have our proximity sensor up there. We can remove that. This thing actually looks pretty intricate. I wasn't really uh, expecting this. So I'm having a lot of trouble getting in. Maybe it opens just like the Apple Vision Pro. We'll try going in from here. And, whoa. Uh. What the hell? It actually does. It opens just like the Apple Vision Pro. I mean, you can open it from the back too, but this is the fake Apple Vision Pro and both cameras do appear to be real. We have the battery below. We actually have a fan going too. This looks a lot like the MetaQuest 2, albeit probably the Dollarama version, but still very similar. This is definitely not worth it for 320, but it is worth it for the memes. Very interesting device and uh, enjoy this clip of me playing Temple Run. I'm scared for my neck. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you never miss a video. Oh no.